Do your fancy new tires not fit your unit? Oh, that's okay. Mine don't fit. So we're gonna hurt a lot of feelings. You're watching Dirt Cheap Garage. Man. What a look. So what we've essentially done is we've taken a wheel trim off of a four door and we've actually cut the wheel well of the wagon and put the wheel trim on the four door onto the wagon with tack welding it under here and then putting some seam sealer in between. Now I did get a little bit on the outside. That's okay. It's still a little bit tacky. Once it dries up completely, we'll clean it off. That's what it used to look like. And the reason we've actually done this is because the big tires were hitting the outside of here. So it's not 100% done yet. I still got some finishing touches to make along with some of the trim for the side to kind of help cover up the lining of the wood paneling. All this trim right here is going to be repainted and there's going to be a brand new trim piece that goes along under here and the look i've got going in my head for this car will work just fine with the way i've radius them wheel wells definitely looks cool though and then i mean under it there's my inner wheel well i mean it all just kind of as you, once you've cut it all out, it was all just basically flat. So once you cut it out, you literally just pull them together and then put a tack weld up inside and then seal it up. Man, this car is going to look so awesome when it's done. Well, I guess we'll uh, get started on this side and, uh, I'll show you how she looks. My new arch nemesis. The whale well, well. Sounds like a cool super villain, man. The wheel well. Hey.
man on wires. Well, this is it. Tires, blue stuff's cleaned off the tires. Definitely sits higher up in the back now. Might, uh, might have to do a drop. But, uh, so, this little part back here where it looks like uh, something took a bite out of it, I will actually be cutting this out and replacing it with the corner piece from the four door so I can get this proper line. So I will be doing a new trim piece of molding or I will be doing a new piece of molding, but uh, it won't be till probably this summer when uh, the weather starts clearing up and I can actually do body work and paint. Yeah, I don't like uh, I don't like doing body work in the winter time. It's just the garage ain't all that uh, the garage ain't all that uh, when it comes to uh, staying warm. So uh, you know, it is what it is. That booty though. It is by far, it, it, it is a decent looking car for what it is. As you can see during the winter time, you know, stuff just kind of gets dusty and dirty and everything else. Uh, under the hood. Under the hood is the stock 350 LT1 that come in this car factory. It is 100% stock. This is a daily driver. It gets between 20 and 25 miles to the gallon on the highway. I'm kind of a fan of it. So something I love about these wagons is you got the outlet. Tailgate. It opens up like a freaking barn door. This thing's awesome. It's also got seats in the back that fold up, but I got stuff back there and I don't feel like I'm folding. So that's it on today's episode. Uh, gave you a little sneak peek on the car and uh, well, I ran it my uh, wheel well so I could fit a uh, fatter tire on the back. Probably wasn't the smartest option, but hey, I'm 21. I guess uh, that's just an excuse for me to do dumb shit, right? But uh, thank you guys for watching if you made it till the end. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up. If you don't, well, I don't know. Comment, tell me I'm a piece of shit or something. But y'all take care. Have a good one. Happy trails.